welcome you guys to my vlog please remember to subscribe and click on the notification button so that you don't miss any of my videos so today guys we were driving from Port Harcourt Nigeria to Oweri yes so I'm about to share with you guys what happened on the street guys 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 it takes Jesus did you hear me it takes Jesus to save someone uh, in Nigeria here we are driving on the bumpy road of Nigeria from Port Harcourt to, um, to Oweri and then the next thing we knew uh, the army people pulled us over on the highway we're not the only people but this is just how they operate so that's my husband in white uh, they pulled us out they asked him for his driver's license he showed him his driver's license you know you know the next thing they are looking for money right but they're always looking for a way to start off a conversation so when they asked my husband for his driver's license he showed him his driver's license behold the next thing the army officer took my husband's driver's license went into their is I don't know what they call that small house a hut I call it hot h-u-t right by the highway where the army people always camp if you're familiar with Nigerian roads you will know exactly what I'm talking about so they took his driver's license they went inside that hut that's my husband coming back and he said to them you go ahead and hold that driver's license and then when he came into the car uh, on a second thought how is he going to be driving on the road of Nigeria without his driver's license so he went out again over to them and pleaded to them and asked him to give him his driver's license back they said to him hey Oga Oga means boss you're driving this big machine and you can only give us 1000 naira because my husband you have to bribe this is Nigeria you know so he gave them uh, 1000 naira they declined the 1000 naira they held his driver's license he was with them for I'm telling you for over one hour when I tell you over one hour this is this is the country we live in just for nothing and then the arm robbers and the criminals will be passing the road and give them money and they will take that but they didn't want to let us go anyways but I was in the car by myself I was literally peeing my pants so I really went over to that station that small hut uh, to see what was going on why are they still holding my husband they pointed their machine to me you know the machine I'm talking about the G-U-N they pointed at and they said madam get back inside the car get back and my husband winked at me and say okay baby go back inside the car things will be okay and then uh, my husband had to make some phone calls because Nigeria is terrible when I tell you people lose their lives every day because of 50 cents because of one dollar and then after he made the phone calls the the uh the person on the other line of my husband requested to talk to the army officer and spoke to them and tried to explain to them who my husband is and who the person that my husband was talking to on the phone is at the end of the day after about an hour and a half they let us go but they made sure that they extorted at least ten thousand naira or more from my husband and they let us go and then when I was in this car looking around I was so scared I saw them so they kept stopping more cars on the highway I was alone on the other side of the road by myself somebody can easily come to the car where I was alone and rob me and anything can happen when I tell you guys that anything can happen I was so scared like you don't I was palpitating my heart rate was jumping here they are a bunch of army people stopping other people collecting 50 naira and 100 naira trying to intimidate people with their guns and stuff like that because there was an army officer in this car that just passed by uh, they collected I think 50 naira from that person from that car and they let them go 
I was there, I was making phone calls, I was videoing, and when I was doing the video, I made sure that I hide my phone because anything can happen. Somebody can come there while I was doing the video at the roadside and demand to have my phone or to smash my phone or to ask me why I was taking the video. So guys, why am I telling you guys this story? Yes, Nigeria is fun. Nigeria is is a place that you want to go to, but is there security in Nigeria? Hell no. This is why most people in Nigeria pray 24 hours. They pray non-stop. Guys, it's an endless story. If I begin to tell you guys what I see on the street and on the road of Nigeria, this video will be like 20 hours. But guys, please be careful. Be very, very careful the way you talk to people on the street in Nigeria. You don't know who is who. They all have weapons. They all have guns. They all have knives. I cannot imagine or begin to tell you guys um, the things that I saw on the street of Nigeria or the things that happened to me or happened to us on the street. Sometimes I am caught in a place where I cannot record or do the video of what is happening and you know what is so terrible the things that we see especially on the street the armies are all over on the road the police people are all over on the road the what do you call them the people that wear yellow the uh, traffic control they are all over on the road you don't know who is who there are people who don't have uniform they are just on the street extorting money from people uh, putting some road blocks putting some wood some tires on the road and you have to pay them before you drive through i don't know um it's only god that is helping that country every time i wake up to travel when i say travel i don't mean flying in nigeria i mean getting in the car and getting around i don't have peace of mind my heart keeps jumping I keep palpitating you don't know what you're gonna meet on the next uh next 50 meters or 100 meters of you driving you know what this is why a whole lot of people indulge in praying 24 hours in nigeria and uh, at the end of the day it's not prayers that will help us it's the government that can help nigeria thank you guys.